Hello everyone, welcome back to Divis YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an automation using Make.com. We are going to use Gmail, Google Sheet, and Gemini. We will extract the incoming mails content from the Gmail and we will summarize with Gemini and we will upload all into the Google Sheet with live and automatic. So let's jump into this video and let's see how it works. Now you need to come to this make.com. Okay. Now once you come to this uh, particular website, you come to this get started free. Now once you click on get started free, log in with your Google account or Facebook account which you want to do it. So I select my Google account and log in with my credentials. I give this access. Now he's asking some name of the, what is the name of your uh, organization. So I'm setting as IB professional, IB pro school and India home region just signing up for free and after signing it up this asking you some random questions so you need to just give some uh, what did you like here about and all so after giving all that information you are ready to good to go into the make.com AI so after selecting all the everything now you are successfully logged into the make.com so it's taking a lot of time so once you have logged into this particular make.com from you there are a lot of options this organization team and if you click on more scenarios ai agents templates so basically they are pre-made templates done by a lot of uh, automation workflow experts so you can use the template as well so in this video we are going to create a workflow so for that you need to create a scenario okay how do you can create a scenario if you click on the more option is option of called scenario or you can come to this organization tab and something of called create a new scenario now once you click on the scenario it will open up a scenario okay now what the scenario you want now you can get a template from him or if you want a personalized scenario you can click on create a new scenario and it's loading and it's telling you the tutorial how you can create it but cross it off now what are the scenario you need so first of all what we need based on the uh, title of the video you understand we are going to create a summary in the google sheet all the way from the gmail so we need uh, three, th three things. The first thing is the Gmail, second thing is the Gemini, and third is the Google Sheet. So first thing, what will I do? I will click on the plus module and I will select the first tool which I get, which is my Gmail. So if you cl click on Gmail and it's asking what, for the what kind of action you want, what kind of trigger you want. Let's say I want to see watch my mails. Because I want to see, watch all my mails which are coming into my Gmail. So it's asking for a lot of things. So first you need to make a connection. So if you click on the create a connection, you need to make a connection with the Gmail into the mail.com. So if you click on sign in with Google, successfully. So once you have successfully connected, you will see your uh, Gmail has been connected with the mail.com. So what are the things you need to do? First you need to click on the folder. What kind of email that he want to watch. So I'll select the inbox mail I want to watch. Filtering, let's make it as a simple filter. That's the mail.com does for you, no criteria. Do you want to watch all the mails or only read emails or only unread emails? So I'll select all the mails and mark as it is, let's say maximum number of results. So let's say I want one, okay? And let's click on save. Now see, you have created one module. Similarly, click on save button. Now, second thing you want, which the mail that you get from the Gmail, you want to pass it to the Gemini. So what you're going to do, you're going to add another module. In this module, you are going to add Gemini model. So if you click on the Google Gemini ad, so it will ask for the creator completion. So what the completion you want? So what you need for that, you need to get an API. So to get an API, you can come to this Google AI Studio and click on the get API, which I've already done it. So you can get an API and come to this part and click on add an API and you can paste the API which you have got from the studio and click on the save and you can see there's a connection between the Gemini and the Gmail. So I've already done it, so that's why I'm skipping it. So which AI model you want? So let's say I want the best one, so I will select the Gemini 2.0 flash, which is the best uh, give the output based on the prompt. So it's asking for the message. So if you click on the add message, now what trigger you want? So what role that you want to give? So I want to give role as a user. What part do you want? Message. I want a text message. What kind of the text? So in this text, 
you need to give the prompt to this Gemini. So for that, let's use the Gmail. Let's use for the GPT. Let's give the prompt to the GPT. I want to give a prompt to agent AI to summarize the mail under 100 words. So I've given a prompt to GPT and he will create a prompt for me. See, and let's copy this prompt. and come to this part, click paste. Now, once you have done that, you need to give him the actions. What are the actions, where to get the prompts? So, below is the content. Now, if you write below in the content, these are the, what are the things you can do from the Gmail? What do you want? Do you want to receive, delivery to, reply, the information of the mails? Do you want a header of the mail? Do you want an email ID? Do you want the date from the sender, uh, receiver, subject? So, the mail that you got from anyone, it will become with the text content. So, I will select the text content under the, below in this context. So, what it does, so whenever someone send me the mail, so I will get a mail in my text content, okay? So that's why I give in this prompt and click on the save. Now you see your Gemini has been ready. Now what you need, you need whatever summary that you get from the Gemini, it will pass to the Google Sheet. So come to this particular fresh Google Sheet and give a proper name. Let's say email extract. Now let's give some name. Okay, so let's say from, okay, and let's give the sender name. I want the sender name as well. I want the subject and summary. These four things I want from this particular workflow. So what I have done, I will create another module. And in this module, I will select the Google Sheet. In the Google Sheet, what I want, I want to add a row. So if you click on add a row, now it's asking for the path. I will select the, search the path. And uh, my drive, choose the file and let's give the name of the file which you have just written. So let's say my name is email extract. So I'll select the email extract. Now, which sheet you want? I want the sheet one. And does it have a table? Yes, it has the tables from A, B, C, D. As you can see, it's automatically deleted the from, sender name, subject and the summary. So if you come over here and see, from sender name subject and the summary now if you click over here sub from what do you want let's say in the from what i want i want the date so it should become the date of the email id where i got received so if you come over here and if you can't find it you can search over here date so see date you can put the date drag and drop, drop. sender name if you come over here let's remove the date part and let's get a sender name so i can't find it i can search it up over here i want the sender name and let's do one thing and i want the subject so subject you can also find from the mail in the summary you don't want text from the gmail what i want in summary i want summary the result of the gemini which will be summary that gemini will do and it will be come in this output which is in the column b if I click on the save, now as you can see, it's done. So now it's time to test it out. As you can see, I've just sent it a mail from another email ID to check it out. So you can see I receive a mail. So if you come over here and let's run it and see whether it's working or not. If you click on run once, now it's running. Is getting from Gmail now it's got Gemini now it's Google Sheet added row now come back to this Google Sheet and see whether it's working now you can see it's working perfectly the summary that you got you can just click on the text wrapping and I want this under text and you can see the summary it got created now if you come over here the date is not in a proper format you can change it from the Google Sheet you come over here 
and uh, the date part you come and click this one and there's option of called date in this date there's a lot of function you can apply let's say i want to do a format so if you click on the format date and you can remove this one and let's give the date i want the date should become uh date and the format i want which should be the let's say the dd mm y y y okay so you can change the format as well by using a function of the in the make dot uh, dot com and it will trigger based on that so this is a small example of creating a workflow and how you can utilize into uh, the daily tasks there are a lot of examples in this uh, mac dot com we have just used a one small example. So in the next video, we are going to talk about how you can create a multiple scenario based uh, workflow. And then afterward, we are going to create an AI agent that will handle all these workflow by their own. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any question or query, please drop in the comment be uh, below. And thank you for the watching.